Rocket Pat here. All right, guys, another day in the jungle. All right, as you can see, old Leroy's got his ass jackers on. And we finally got a front end up underneath this thing where I want it. And I got the rake that I'm looking for. I'm digging the way it looks. Uh, still a few little problems. Uh, we'll go over that in a little minute. But yeah, uh, got the correct si spindles in yesterday. Put them on, uh, digging the way it looks, and you know it, it, it's got the right stance to it for me. Uh, screaming 1980s hot rod. Uh, front tires are actually off the vet right now, and they are eight inch wide, American racing, whatever the hell they call their centerline lookalikes. Uh, they are. Uh, three and a half inch back spacing it's got a 255 50 or I'm sorry 255 60 uh, 15 on it BF Goodrich radial TA it's got a 295 50 in the rear uh, they are 10 inch wide with four inch back spacing now the only thing out of well let's go back up here to the front end we'll talk about the rear end in a second uh, Alignment's done. I've got a six and a half degree caster on both sides and about a half a quarter to a half degree of negative camber on both sides. Uh, now I set that all up with the uh, that gauge I showed you earlier on the last video for this car. So yeah, uh, hot rod is looking hot rodish. The only thing I'm not digging about it, I do have, uh, I, well, let me stay up here at the front again. Let me get it. I keep getting ahead of myself. Uh, I can turn the steering wheel all the way left and right. But well, the wheels left and right. I don't have the steering hooked up yet. Uh, next, I'm going to get the engine sitting in there with the exhaust so that I can work on getting the steering shaft hooked up. I kind of need all that there so I know where to put the steering shaft and how I can do the steering shaft. Uh, let me pop the hood here and I'll show you what my alignment looks like. I got a little bit of space left on that back one where or where I can bring it in just a hair bit more if I need to, but I don't. And there's I'm sitting in the center of the front one to get my caster proper. And pretty much the same thing over here. I got a little bit I could come in in the rear and I'm doing good, looking good. I got all that good, so I'm happy there. Uh, sitting on the little jacks that I've got up underneath there the strut jacks call them that whatever we want to call them but yeah that's all good now the only thing I'm not really keen with right now the way it all looks is that rear end and the problem I have with it is is that it's too far back uh, it needs to come forward just a little bit to look right into that wheel opening uh, when Lee put this up underneath there, well, truthfully, when I took the drive shaft out, I barely could get the drive shaft out of the car. Uh, the this rear end is out of a '57 Chevrolet. Uh, I believe that's going to be a '57 Chevrolet car, and the spring has the you know everybody knows the little pin that goes in the springs where. It, bolts it all the spring pack together well he had to cut a little slot uh, I think I, what I need to do is I need to take the lower perch off uh, where the shock mounts and everything and kind of open that up a little bit more so that the rear end can slide forward probably about a half inch to an inch uh, maybe even a little bit more than that because it seems to be that it's closer here than it is here okay I want to take about half that distance up so put this tire further up about this area and I think the whole car would look better more proportioned it looks like it's a little dragging out in the rear to me uh, I don't know you guys tell me from this point of view right here what do y'all think bring the rear end forward just a little bit and it would look a little better because uh, it seems to me like that rear end needs to be right about in this zone underneath this package tray 
and it seems like it's a little bit closer to the trunk than it needs to be but hey man that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna try to drag it forward a little bit but i tell you what i am happy that i got the front end up underneath this thing and it's getting a lot closer to rocking and rolling and rolling and rocking uh we'll get an engine and drivetrain in this thing we might even be able to take it for a ride this year sometime uh fourth of july is next week and hoping i think it's only another two months yeah two and a half months until we get to uh labor day maybe by labor day we can at least start this thing up and move it under its own power all right guys well i just wanted to show you i got that front end up underneath there and y'all keep rocking and a rolling and a rolling and a rocking and i'm gonna keep grinding it down talk to y'all next time